If you'd like to learn more about poetry, you can reach us at. <laughs> Psych. We just kidding. Good night, y'all. Well, all of us aren't. And welcome to. Hi everyone, welcome back to Hearts and Minds official channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Adwesh Pillai. I am a college student and a writing writer. Please make sure to leave a comment down below. After you are done watching the video, share with your friends. Don't forget to like. For more information on this or any other episode, go to my website heartsandmind1.wordpress.com. There are additional resources, more reading material, episode-related content, and a link to my book if you are interested. On today's episode, we are going to talk about Shel Silverstein, a singer, songwriter. cartoonist screenwriter award winning children's writer and actor shell silverstein grew up in chicago he started out as a cartoonist publishing works in playboy and the military publication stars and stripes before turning into children's books silverstein is the author and illustrator of numerous books including the giving tree 1964 where the sidewalk ends 1974 a light in the attic 1981 and falling up 1996 his books have become commended for their appeal to both adults and children Silverstein's poems are often darkly humorous, irrelevant, and populated with invented characters such as the Bloth, in where the sidewalk ends, who dwells in the undergrowth and feeds upon poets and tea. Silverstein's poems and stories are accompanied by his simple yet energetic pen and ink illustrations. The Giving Tree, a fable about a lifelong relationship between a boy and a tree, has become a classic in the canon of children's literature and has sold over five million copies. As a songwriter, Silverstein wrote the cover for of the Rolling Stone, recorded by Doctor Hook, and the Medicine Show, Unicorn Song for the Irish Rovers, A Boy Named Sue for Johnny Cash, and and Queen of the Silver Dollar, which Emily Lou Harris covered on Pieces of the Sky. Silverstein collaborated with playwright David Marnett on the screenplay Things Change uh, in nineteen eighty eight, and they and Eileen May staged a series of one act plays called Oh Hell, nineteen ninety one. Silverstein's genre: an epigram is a short and witty poem, typically written as a couplet or a simple one-line phrase. Shell often uses this succinct but powerful type of poetry, usually accompanied by art. Here are five poems of Silverstein that I'll be reading for you. Weird bird: birds are flying south for winter. Here's the weird bird heading north, wings a flapping, beak a chattering, cold head bobbing back and forth. He says it's not that I like ice or freezing winds and snowy ground. It's just sometimes it's kind of nice to be the only bird in town. Messy room. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. His underwear is hanging on the lamp. His raincoat is there on the overstuffed chair, and the chair is becoming quite mucky and damp. His workbook is wedged in the window. His sweater has been thrown on the floor. His scarf and one ski are beneath the TV, and his pants have been carelessly hung on the door. His books are all jammed in the closet. His vest has been left in the hall. A lizard named Ed is asleep in his bed, and his smelly old sock has been stuck to the wall. Whosoever room this is should be ashamed. Donald or Robert or Willie or, huh? He said it's mine. Oh dear, I knew it looked familiar. What if? Last night while I lay thinking here, some what ifs crawled inside my ear and pranced and partied all night long and sang their same old what if song. What if I'm dumb in school? What if they've closed the swimming pool? What if I get beat up? What if there's poison in my cup? What if I start to cry? What if I get sick and die? What if I flunk that test? What if green hair grows on my chest? What if nobody likes me? What if a bolt of lightning strikes me? What if I don't grow taller? What if my head starts getting smaller? What if the fishes won't bite? What if the wind tears up my kite? What if they start a war? What if my parents get divorced? What if the bus is late? What if my teeth don't grow in straight? What if I tear my pants? What if I never learn to dance? Everything seems well, and then the nightmare of what if strikes again. Picture puzzle piece. One picture puzzle piece lying on the sidewalk. One picture puzzle piece soaking in the rain. It might be a button of blue on the coat of the woman who lived in the shoe. It might be a magical bean or a fold in the red velvet robe of a queen. It might be one little bite of the apple her stepmother gave to Snow White. It might be the veil of a bride or a bottle with some evil genie inside. It might be a small tuft of hair on the big bouncy belly of Bobo the Bear. It might be a bit of the cloak of the witch of the west as she melts to smoke. It might be a shadowy trace of a tear that runs down an angel's face. The thing has more possibilities than one old white picture puzzle piece. God's wheel. 
God says to me with a kind of a smile, "Hey, how would you like to be God a while and stay the world?" Okay, says I. I'll give it a try. Where do I sit? How much do I get? What time is lunch? When can I quit? Give me back the wheel, says God. I don't think you're quite ready yet. And with that, we come to the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed the journey we took today. For additional twenty-five poems, created by myself, written by Mr. Sign, heard by Hearts and Mind, one dot best dot com. Link to it will be in the description. All three of course, of course. With each coming day, I hope you bring about a new change in your life with your daily inconsistent is inconsistency in the course of life. I wish you all the best. Remember tonight. Signing off. Adarsh Pillai. Thank you.